Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back. Now, I know I am not the only person to ever think about this comparison. Jathan Bosch and Emmanuel Maldonado are two great players, and they both have a lot of potential in their individual careers. But in today's video, I'm going to let y'all know who I think is the better player. Like if they was to play 1v1 right now, who would win? I'ma let y'all know who I think is the better scorer, who got the best ball handling, who plays the best defense, the most athletic, and just overall who gives more effort. So let's not waste no time, let's get right into this video. First off, I'm gonna start by talking about scoring. Now both of these players be getting buckets, but for the video's sake, I gotta pick one person. So for shooting wise, I gotta go with Emmanuel Maldonado. He is one of those players that has the green light as soon as he touched the floor. Whether he is pulling up from deep or he has a hand in his face, he just shoots with so much confidence and if he gets hot, it can get real ugly. Don't get me wrong, Jathan Bosch can shoot too, it's just that he's more of a knockdown shooter. He just shoots when he's wide open. He's not as aggressive as Emmanuel Maldonado. When it comes to finishing at the rim, neither of them really separated themselves from one another. It's a tie for the most part. They are both smaller guards, so it's not like they just finishing through the lane at will. They both just be picking choosing their spots. Now, moving on to ball handling. They both play point guards, so they have a pretty decent handle, but they are different in a way. It's hard to pick which one is better because with Emmanuel Maldonado, I feel he has a smooth handle, but it takes him more dribbles to get to where he wants to go. But with Jason Bosch, his dribble moves are more effective. He could do a one or two dribble moves and be past his defender. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Jathan Bosch. It's not a blowout though. Now it's time to get into the good stuff, bro. The thing that I like the most, defense. Defense is what really separates you from the average player. If you're a good scorer, then that's cool. But if you can score and lock your man up, then that's next level. I watched enough footage to realize that Jathan Bosch is the better defender. I feel like he takes more pride in his defense. Whereas Emmanuel Maldonado is more focused on carrying the scoring load. Sometimes when he be getting hot, he be getting a little caught up in the moment. And it be taking him time to get back on D. I would probably be the same way if I was in his shoes. If I'm dropping 40 points with nothing but threes, I gotta celebrate bro. There's no way around it. But on the other hand, whenever Jathan Bosch does anything good or bad, he is just focused on the next play. Which is a good thing in my opinion. Now the last thing that I want to talk about before I let y'all know who I think is the better player is the athleticism. This is not really that much of a contest. Emmanuel Maldonado got him beat for sure. He be dunking with one hand, two hands, and he be catching oops. There's footage of Jathan Bosch dunking, but it doesn't seem like he does it consistently. It happens. There's more ways to measure athleticism besides jumping, but I can't really tell from the highlights so we just gonna go off of dunking. So if we was able to set up a 1v1 against these two today, I'm not gonna lie, I'm picking Emmanuel Maldonado to win. He is a streaky scorer, and if they playing for keeps, Jathan Bosch might not even touch the ball. I mean, that's how hot he be getting. But if I had the chance to play pickup with these two, I would pick Jathan Bosch over Emmanuel Maldonado. He is more of the all-around team player. He would be more valuable. Whereas with Emmanuel Maldonado, I already know he gonna be taking all the shots. And I'm just not trying to beg for the ball at this point in my life. It's kind of draining. Emmanuel Maldonado is one of those players that if you put him on a team with average people, he's gonna make them competitive against good teams. But with Jathan Bosch, I feel like he's the type of player that should be on a great team, but he should be a role player. I feel like he's more effective that way. If y'all agree with anything that I said in this video, make sure y'all leave a like. But if you're not feeling it, let me know why down in the comments. And this is a little off topic, but I just made a new TikTok. I'm trying to get that off the ground, so I'm following back the first 100 followers. I only got like 5 followers right now, so I really need y'all help with this. And if you guys want to submit any TikToks for me to post, just DM me. And the last thing, I want y'all to check out this upcoming artist. I stopped doing paid promos, so everybody that I promote now is people that I really feel have potential. Instead of just me trying to make a couple dollars. So y'all check this out and let me know what y'all think. Stay down and I stay humble. Do them stones, no, I won't stumble. I won't. When I rap, they say it hit, they so they tired of all that mumble. Mm. Make sure my people straight, cause if they ain't, this shit gon' crumble. Yeah. Face me anywhere with lions, tigers, killers in that jungle. Even place me with the shark shit, I'm surviving in the dark. It's crazy. Niggas barely bite, they more concerned with hella bark. I've been a dog that's from the start, little bitty nigga. Hella hurt. Scholarship for playing ball, but 
but now I'm finna talk the church like, is you with me? Shout out to Gabe in 33, my nigga, do you get me? Ain't talking about a bag of feet, the family, you can miss me.